The leading Lao fashion designers are joining with Lao peers from abroad as well as the top eight young Lao designers to show their collections during the Lao Fashion Week 2015. To illustrate how much this year's fashion event has moved up from last year, there are a total of 20 designers from Laos and other countries showing collections over four evenings, whereas last year there were five Lao designers showing collections on two evenings only. Lao young designers, uh, they, they are interested in fashion industry and then our brand is one of the brands from Poxé. That's why we want to make, make our brand famous. Our concept is that we inspire from, like, I have my partner from foreign, then for the local spin, like you see here, and then here, here one local of, of my partner too. Yeah, and then why I want to PR for two bands in, the same, in one way. My show is about um, butterflies. It's about a 17th century uh, naturalist. She is a woman. Her name is uh, Mary Marianne. She discovered uh, the life cycle of the butterfly. So basically, my collection is about um, how she dresses up herself. And since it's a 17th century um, iconic woman, we kind of make it the designs a little bit modern so that it would fit to our modern time. Because I really believe, like Anna Venter said, fashion is not always looking backward, it's always looking forward. So we always look forward to what can we offer um, what can we offer to the local fashion scene as well as the international fashion scene? It is believed that this enhanced fashion event will help to promote fashion design from Laos and see it grow to match international standards as well as to provide an opportunity for Lao designers to meet and learn from their international counterpart. This is uh, the second year that I participate at Lao Fashion Week. And uh, also, uh, this year, the inspiration of my collection is beauty of silk. The inspiration is like uh, freedom things. I take two decades of the fashion, 80 and 90. The 80 is about the punk and the 90 about the grunge. That's, uh, the, the, the youth people try to be, to be free and then I, I give the symbol is the skull. That's why I say the spunky skull. The spunky skull is symbol of the feet free and fashionable. Uh -huh. And I just want to tell everybody that uh, fashion is uh, just simple things. You just wear it, feel comfortable, show the school, and you can feel uh, the fashion is just like a trend. Actually, my collection, I mean, easy to explain, it's all about emotions. So, based on my part that I have been like doing my own research, my private research for seven years about fashion anatomy, and also the color combinations. So, I try to make it like the new silly eight and also like the new color which affect to you know people feeling and you know mixed up but subconscious so they bring out you know I don't have to say like what message that I'm going to send to people but you know all the audience already like accept and it is also hoped that it will encourage more Lao designers to participate in the show in the future as this will undoubtedly help to improve fashion design here and link Lao fashion to the international fashion market. It will give um, international designers another platform to showcase their, their crafts and on the other hand it will also give the opportunity to um, aspiring uh, fashion designers here in Lao as well as the local fashion scene here in Lao to have an idea and it is a good milestone that they invited international designers this year and I believe that uh, the fashion industry here in Lao will continue to grow more and more because I see a lot of potential of the fashion industry here. Uh, Lao already grow and uh, the fashion is like uh, uh, go with the flow in economical and everything is very nice. Maybe one day I'm gonna make uh, some collection, collaborate with the local textile here, the silk. Yeah, I love the silk. And I will make maybe special things for a while. The first day of the event featured both Lao and foreign designers highlighting their latest collections, such as Ministry of Silk, 
Peng Mai Gallery, Armada Asia, and Guok Bin. The second day highlights include the collections of Ginali Design, Worawat Bangkok, Anyan and Zian. While third day, the creations of Nali, Embran Nawawi, and Suguru Ito, as well as the eight top Lao Young Designers 2015, are on display. And uh, this year, in addition to the Lao leading designers, we have seven international fashion designers joining us, plus uh, eight top Lao Young designers. And um, we have so much uh, positive feedback from general public and also from international level. And I believe from this point onward, uh, next year we will plan better and we hope that we're going to have more international designers joining us. And um, the good thing is that this year we have achieved the achievement to encourage Lao young designers to showcase their collection in the international fashion stage. And I hope in the future we can help encouraging more. The final day includes an auction of young designers' creations supporting the Lao Young Designer Development Fund. It is highlighted that the aims of the fashion event, which was created to exchange experiences between Lao and foreign designers, as they highlighted their collections as well as to strengthen the local industry. Oh,